This lesson will use Desmos to explore how the values of a, b, c, and d affect the graph of y equals a times sine of the quantity b times the quantity x minus c plus d, where the absolute value of a is equal to the amplitude, and if a is less than zero or negative, the graph is reflected across the midline. The period is equal to two pi divided by the absolute value of b for radians, and 360 degrees divided by the absolute value of b for degrees. The phase shift or horizontal shift is equal to c, where if we have the quantity x minus c, the graph is shifted right c units, and if we have the quantity x plus c, the graph is shifted left c units. And the midline is y equals d, and therefore d gives a vertical shift. If d is positive, the graph is shifted up d units. If d is negative, the graph is shifted down d units. And all this information applies for both sine and cosine. Let's explore all of these using desmos.com. To save time, I've already set this up, where we have the graph of y equals sine x in orange. The length of this green dashed segment represents the amplitude, which is the distance from the midline to the maximum, or the distance from the midline to the minimum. I also have two vertical lines graphed to mark off one period of the sine function. And now we will graph y equals a times sine of the quantity b times the quantity x minus c plus d. And we'll begin with a and b equal to one and c and d equal to zero, which will give us another graph of the basic sine function, which we now see here in blue. And now let's change the value of a. Notice as a increases, the amplitude increases, or we can say the graph is vertically stretched. If a is between negative one and positive one, the amplitude is less than one, and we can say the graph is vertically compressed. Notice when a is negative, the graph is reflected across the midline, or in this case, reflected across the y-axis. Let's go ahead and change a back to one, and now change the value of b. And because we're using radians, remember the period is equal to two pi divided by the absolute value of b. So as b increases, the period decreases, or we can say the graph is horizontally compressed. If b is between negative one and positive one, the period increases, or we can say the graph is horizontally stretched, which we see here. And notice when b is negative, the graph is reflected across the y-axis. Let's set b back to one. And now change the value of c. Notice when c is positive, the graph is shifted right c units, but also notice how in the equation, we would have subtraction because we are subtracting a positive value of c. And when c is negative, the graph is shifted left c units. Notice when c is negative, we would have minus a negative, which is equivalent to adding a positive, and therefore, we would have addition. Let's set c back to zero, and change the value of d. Remember, the equation of the midline is y equals d. If d is positive, the graph is shifted up d units, and if d is negative, the graph is shifted down d units. In either case, y equals d does give us the equation for the midline. I think it is helpful to spend time exploring how the values of a, b, c, and d affect the graph of the sine function or the cosine function when the equation is in this form. I hope you found this helpful.